in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. <laughs> Yo, I know what you're thinking. Yo, Cuba's gone Hollywood. Nah, B, I'm just representing for the dad bod. Pecs and biceps was three years ago. What you gonna start doing? Wearing a fluorescent pink tank top, those tights, and then grow a mullet like you're working out in Venice Beach? What's wrong with you, fam? Check out the drip, baby. You already know what time it is. We gotta flex it next level. A beautiful collection that I'm gonna present to y'all, curated by none other than Daniel Jewelry, Inc. Let me take these shades off and give y'all bitches some breakdown of these chains and pendants. Only available at Daniel Jewelry, Inc. These shits is fire, and I don't know how many of these I'm gonna be putting in the stash. But if wifey comes in, none of these shits is mine. We're gonna consider this video an art cultivation, cause you're gonna be seeing different things from beautiful enamel work, custom diamond work, custom pendant work, different variety of chains, beaded chains, moon beads, mini cubans, ropes, ranging from 10 to 14K. I've never shown 10K pieces on my videos, but now I got a couple of pendants on hand that are 10K. 10 to 14K really doesn't have a visual difference when you see it with the naked eye, especially through a camera, but at least you get to see it on my channel and get to determine if 10K is a dope budget-friendly option for you or you just wanna go straight 14, 18K. If y'all just came here to watch a regular jewelry review and me be like, this is a 22-inch, uh, seven and a half inch, it's got a circumference that Get the fuck out of here, this ain't gonna be that. You better click on some other motherfuckers video. The first piece I'm gonna show you is none other than a gorgeous 4.5 millimeter rope chain, 22 inches in length. Check this puppy out. Sex appeal in a bottle. I'm gonna put it on my wrist so y'all motherfuckers can get some sort of perspective. I have a seven inch wrist, sorry. And you can see the thickness of this four and a half millimeter followed by a gorgeous two and a half inch diamond Diamond is cross 14k just flooded with stones I'll put more specifications in the description of the video and if you're interested in purchasing this All you got to do is go to Daniel Jewelry Inc and tell them Cuba sent ya The camera is definitely not doing the piece any kind of justice But when I show you the close-up videos, you can see how sexy this joint is 22 inches in length And we got a two and a half inch cross for this 4.5 millimeter rope chain now the next joint is moon chain First of all, I've never had a moon chain on hand I've only heard the name moon chain, but I've never gotten the idea of what the fuck a moon chain is we're looking at a 14 carat, three millimeter, 28 inch moon chain. Now, I'm gonna try to give you a perspective of what a moon chain is. Now, a moon chain, similar to a beaded chain, but it has several different slices and cuts. Kind of like a blend between a beaded chain and a rope chain. It has the same kind of cuts and swirls as a rope chain, so it reflects light stupid. And it kind of gives like a diamond impression when it's in the sun. Like when the sun reflects off of this, just like a rope chain, it attracts light and that bitch just starts blinging everywhere. So we got a 28 inch, three millimeter moon bead chain followed by a beautiful drippy diamond star with that drip action. Look at the heavy drippage on that star. Point out a corner that I don't got a diamond, I dare you. Again, I'll put the specifications down below. This is 14K and just icy as fuck. I just can't even deep it. Aha, was that frostbite, bitch? Next one. I never thought a small chain would look good on anybody, but I was dead wrong, because if you put the proper pendant on this shit, like this one, for example, this is a teeny tiny two millimeter, 24 inch Miami Cuban. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Again, I'm gonna put it against my wrist. This could be worn by a man, woman, or even child. But when paired properly with this beautiful diamond Hamsa piece, Look at this joint. I'm gonna try to get you, again, with close-ups, you're gonna see better angles. This Hamsa is gorgeous. And not only that, the diamond placement is absolutely perfect on this piece. You know what I like to look for when I'm looking at diamond pieces? For that little dead black diamond, that shit diamond that they like to stuff in between. Some shitty ass Fugazi jewelers, not gonna mention any names, be stuffing them dead diamonds. Looks like a rotten fucking tooth in the middle of the piece, trying to hide shit like, oh, no, just clean it. See, now it just don't look all small. Now it just looks dainty, classy. Can be worn by a man, could be worn by a woman, or even a small child. Your child got that kind of budget. If he doesn't, make his ass get a job. Next one. Now in this particular case, we got a one millimeter larger Cuban. So this is a three millimeter Miami Cuban, 24 inch. Now look at this joint on wrist so you can get an idea of the thickness of it. This pendant is a diamond out custom piece and it's actually 10K. Would you rock a 10K piece that looks like this? It's the fucking emoji joint with the tongue that looks like he's licking a box. For a 10K piece, 
blinged out like that? Look at the custom work. Look at the enamel eyes on this joint. Super fun, mad playful. If you're a funny motherfucker, I don't know anybody like that. People don't even text anymore. They just have conversations and emoji. Haha, <laughs> smiley face, eggplant, poop. Even the eyes got diamonds. I didn't even notice that shit. The enamel pieces, the diamonds on the eyes. Don't look at my fucking nails. I need a manicure. Small chain with a dope pendant. You still got that swag level at 10,050. Next one. Now we're gonna look at a five millimeter, 22 inch length Miami Cuban with a box lock. Look at this tiny ass box lock. They pulled that shit off out their ass. So we got a 14K, 22 millimeter box lock. You ever seen some of these Jesus pieces that look frown and sad and look like Jesus is mad shook? This Jesus got teardrops. This Jesus got bodies on him, son. Look at this Jesus piece. Diamond crown, diamond beard, diamond hair, and diamond teardrops on his face. I don't know if this is gonna offend some religious people, but Jesus got bodies on him, son. You got the full diamond crown. It's a gorgeous matte finish on the face. You got the teardrops right here. His eyes got fucking diamonds, full diamond squares on it. This shit is dope, and on a five millimeter, again, don't judge a book by its cover. Five millimeter with a pendant on it? That shit look heavy duty, my G, especially on camera. Think about that shit. I need to go to church right after this one. Next one. The following two pieces are other 10K pieces that I'm gonna be showing you that are blinged out 28 inch three millimeter bead chain. Shit motherfuckers used to wear dog tags in that was sterling silver. Now, nah, bitch, this is beaded gold right here again. And then we roll this hoe up and then you can see, let's keep it a hundred fam. You got that hundred emblem. Again, more emojis. Emojis is popping up all over the place. Only this emoji got ice like a motherfucker. Playful still want to stunt. Just want to flex that you got paper and just want to show motherfuckers that you stay 100 all the time, every day, all day. And you best believe this iced out 10 carat piece will drop some panties all over the fucking place. Next one. Three millimeter, 28 inch rope chain on deck. Beautiful rope chain so you can see again, perspective is key. But look at this subtle flex on this 10K pendant. On that lightning rod. You're gonna get a better angle when I do the close-up shots but this shit got subtle diamonds all over the place including the sides so if you want to flex subtly or you got somebody who's with you that pays attention to detail and you might be able to stab a motherfucker in the neck if you catch your ass slip I don't know what kind of street rules y'all play by but these shits is fire showing you chain and pendant combinations I'm gonna show you about four or five additional pendants ranging from 10 to 14 K with diamonds they all got diamonds cuz I don't wear nothing else that don't got diamonds the fuck I look like I'm a bougie bitch if your motherfuckers is into and you definitely gonna fuck with this. I ain't never seen some shit like this before, personally. The fucking Mario Brother mushroom joint. Yo, this shit looks crazy. This is 10 carat, full of diamonds everywhere. I'll put it on my hand so y'all can get an idea. If y'all into that Mario shit, ding, 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 ding. or you just pop in LSD and like to chew on mushrooms in the weekends, that could be your style too. Maybe your nickname is Mushroom. Maybe you just wanna refer to the tip of your... Next one. This shit used to be the old coke boy shit that the OGs used to wear in Miami Beach with a fucking furry ass chest. I know at least 10 of y'all fathers had a pendant just like this or your uncles who were slinging that weight. It's that old school anchor piece, only fully diamonded out. I don't know if they had it blinged out while they were rocking their Mercedes SL 560. This is definitely throwback D-boy shit. Down to the slits on the details of the rope, it's absolutely fucking perfect. This is also a 10K piece and it looks fucking immaculate. Perfectly done, no sharp edges, no bullshit. No. Even the setting of the diamonds, you can rub your fingers on and you're not gonna scrape the skin off your fucking nails. It's for them old school motherfuckers who just like that swag like I do, this piece is actually kind of fly. Next one, look at this gorgeous piece right here. Super dope. For me, it has kind of like a Celtic vibe. Still a good size. Your problem is that my fluorescent white skin actually counteracts with the light from the fucking diamonds, so you probably won't be seeing it too well, but you can get an idea of how fucking fly this shit is. Pretty affordable. Next one. Look at this beautiful tiger, lion, whatever. I don't know my fucking cats, bitch, but you could tell this shit is sick. You see the red enamel on the tongue, the black enamel on the skin. You got diamonds all over this piece. This is also a 10K piece, but it's just so well done. You know, this actually looks like a motherfucking king of the jungle. It doesn't look like it's going rare. Or some of these shits be looking cockeyed, like he just got stabbed in the fucking eye, or look like he just had a cat stroke. It looks mean. The teeth are sharp, but it won't catch a finger. The enamel work is beautiful. The diamond work is sick. It's properly placed. It's not a sloppy job. It's not just drilled all over and let me just stuff a fucking diamond. This one's mine. <laughs>
Who else on YouTube is gonna show you this kind of variety in this fashion? Look at this shit. You could just buy all these shits and stunt on some next level status. If you don't get shot or stabbed or robbed, this shit's gonna be coming out with all the draws, B, and you're gonna have all them gold diggers sicking after you. You're gonna be waking up with random bitches trying to take your wallet, but you're still gonna be looking super drip, super in style, and it's courtesy of Daniel Jewelry Inc. If y'all motherfuckers enjoyed this video and like to see more jewelry like this, smash that thumbs up button, share this video with everybody else who's a jewelry fiend and wants to see a beautiful, handsome, comedic individual represent this jewelry the way it should be. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Shout out to the curators of these pieces, Daniel Jewelry Inc., and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. It's the Pharaoh Mancha, this Cuban chain. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough rugger than raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you.